Okay, I heard some footsteps over there. I don't know if you can sense this feeling right now. I am in, inside a cloud. Hey Astro people, Cosmic Lens here. One more day out in the astral field. Tonight it's gonna be the first night of this project. I'm gonna capture the NGC 1333. It's a reflection nebula and has a lot of dust around. And I'm gonna try to capture as much hours as I can from Borgl 4 scale. So I'm gonna try to spend a lot of nights outside to capture every night the best hours of this target on the sky. I'm really excited about this project and I hope to achieve it to, to make the final image that I can't believe I captured this. So let's start. What I'm doing? I don't have a lot of time. The sun it's going down right now and it's getting darker and darker. I have about 45 minutes until the astronomic dark. So I have to be fast to prepare everything. Let's place the batteries. It's gonna be a really, really cold night. I can feel it from now. And before 10 minutes, a huge cloud pass over here and I was driving and I didn't see nothing I'm looking about the Polaris when it will be visible I'm gonna start the polar alignment I don't want to waste any more time that's why you see me I'm in a rush I opened up the eyes a little bit to see me clearly I'm gonna start from this position and I'm gonna like over here like this This fancy little torch. Here I have my base for the phone. Oh my god, a cloud over there passes. Over there, it's a cloud passes through the forest. Okay guys, I'm surrounding all over there with clouds. It's like fog coming from here and from over there. I don't know. Uh, the forecast says it's gonna be clear about now, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna wait. I think in some minutes I could not even see from this fog because it's a huge cloud that passes through the forest. So I'm in the forest and I'm the part of the passing, you know. If you feel scared on the dark, imagine dark with fog. I saw some comments on the TikTok the other days and somebody say that I am really brave to go alone in the top of the mountain to do the astrophotography. And to be honest, a lot of things happen to me in this, in this journey. A lot of bad things, but with clear mind and focus to your target, you can overcome every, every, every shit that happens. My favorite power tank, I haven't got another one, it's the only one. And I can't even see near. It's kind of weird if you can't see if something comes to you or any animal or something. But never mind, Astrophotography has everything of this. And I'm prepared to set my equipment in the low light. When I first bought this star tracker and I was using only my DSLR without any astronomic gadget. I was trying to set everything up in total dark with only one small red light in my bedroom, closed windows and all dark to see if I can handle this, to set my equipment into the dark. I can feel the moisture here in the atmosphere. I have the dew heater so I don't even care. Okay guys, let's start the session. Open the power tank. I'm gonna try to focus the scopes with my button of mask. I don't know if you can see me well, let me check. And my camera is on the higher ISO. 
so sorry for that guys can't describe you I am inside in the big cloud that's passing through the mountain I take the advantage of the clouds and eat my lunch because I was working and I didn't have any time to eat and after the work I pack everything and I came to the mountain so now it's lunch time I hope not any wolf come to eat my meatballs It's really really creepy I can see over 5 meters It's weird because it's not so so dark I don't know if you can sense this feeling right now I'm in, inside a cloud I'm waiting a friend to come here to do some astrophotography together so I have to inform him that it's not the best conditions until now okay guys right now I can do nothing I have fog everywhere, I can't even see the Polaris to do the polar alignment, so I'm gonna turn the Azir off to don't consume my power. Okay, I heard some footsteps over there from the forest. From the sound, I guess it's something like a fox. Hey everyone, this is the second night of capturing the NCC 1333 and it's a warmer day than the previous it's about 10 degrees celsius today it's very peaceful i can hear only the birds around not any wolf or any fox the weather looks to be good no clouds at all the previous night i captured about one hour and a half of data only because of the clouds so tonight i hope for a clear sky as the forecast says so let's see it's exactly the same place as the previous night but as you can see there are no snow everything is melted because of the sun so guys it's officially night it's half an hour before the astronomic dark so I'm gonna start my polar alignment I have semi focused my main scope and out of focus the secondary so after the polar alignment I have to focus correctly both of the scopes So now I'm gonna rotate this. And we have something like this. We press the let's go. And we see the total error and the movements we have to do to make the polar alignment. The astro session is started. The weather is very very good, there are no clouds, there are no moisture or humidity on the atmosphere. Everything started very very well and now I'm capturing about an hour. So guys, I have captured about 4 hours of data, but I have to turn everything off because my target goes very close to the horizon, so the light pollution washed everything out, so I'm not gonna spend more time. I'm gonna take my equipment and I will come back again so let's turn everything off so now I will pack everything up and I'm thinking that I'm gonna need about three or four nights more to complete the whole project it makes you tired emotionally because you ain't see any final image all over the map because you're focused only in one target but I think the final result is gonna be something else it's not below 5 or 7 degrees of celsius and comparing with the previous night this is very very good I have some safety bags that I place my equipment to don't hit each other into the bag I do a quick check because sometimes I'm hearing some footsteps and because it's so so quiet if a mouse walk around I can hear the footsteps and that's the most creepy that you have to recognize by the footstep if it's something big or something small and the first time I was like panicked 
But now I can to recognize it and if I hear something bigger coming closer to me I'm gonna open my lead all over the place and he gonna leave. I know that I picked a challenging target considering that I have the star tracker so every time I have manually to center my target so it's a little bit difficult for so multiple night sessions but I can handle it. I always have a fear to not forget something but if this happens probably I will find it the next time because no one came here. <laughs> It's completely wet all around. See you the next night. Hey everybody, it's one month later after the previous sessions. The entire month the clouds were everywhere, so I didn't do any astrophotography. I set here everything up. I'm waiting classic the Polaris to be visible to make my polar alignment. And after that I will start the session, I don't want to waste any time because the NGC 1333 is lower on the horizon due to the season, so it's the last days I can capture this target for this year. The sun is going down, so now it's the time. A lot of people ask me about how I find my targets because it's a star tracker, it hasn't got any go-to so I have to find manually my deep sky object before I photograph it and to be honest without Azier and plate solving it's really difficult to find hidden targets in all of the stars in the entire sky it's really really difficult. I started my session and I saw the first capture that the moon's light covered all of the place here, only the right up corner is clear and the NGC 1333 is a really dim target, it's not a bright one so the moon's light destroy everything so guys as you understand I can't capture any more time of this target so I'm gonna complete the project in the hours I have until now and sometimes you can't fight with the nature, with the moon, with the weather and that's why I decided to complete the project to don't push it further, to wait until the next year to start it from the November or December which this target is higher on the sky at this month I gathered about 5 hours and a half of worth data and I stacked them and let's see what we've got and this is how the stacked image looks, it's nothing very special, you can't see any nebulosity or any dust around, so let's process it. I hope you enjoyed the video about the behind the scenes of the NGC 1333 and if you want to process this image by your own way you can find it in my Patreon page. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to don't miss my next videos, feel free to write anything you want in the comments, I reply to everyone and clear skies astro people.